Hi everyone, welcome back to U46 and Silent Hunter 5. Here we are. We're still patrolling the uh, the waters of Norway. And I will tell you what's happened in the meantime. Quick switch over here. Um, so, as you can see, I left you last time. These were the where the ships were. I marked them so I would know. Um, and in that time, I thought, well, sod this. Let's go back. So I went all the way back to Heligoland, down here. And I've rearmed. Hang on, rearms, as you can see, and we refueled. Although fuel level is now down to 67%, which is uh, probably because I came quite quickly on the way back. Uh, and in that time, literally a day ago, we have Operation That Razor the Bung, Razor Bung, Razor Bung, uh, which is to patrol this area uh, short of um, Narvik here. Uh, so we don't need to actually go into Narvik, we're just going to stay short. So those ships there were there. I have been back there and they have disappeared, they've gone, they've moved. So they're not there anymore. Um, and I haven't, it's not a load game because you can see, you can still see the ship icons on there. Right from the uh, the ones we sunk all the way over there. So yes, it's all kicking off. Um, so this is our new mission. Operation... Uh, Weaselberg, or Bung, 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 yeah, Weaselbung, Weaselbung, I don't know, yeah. Uh, so this is deadline of April the 11th, obviously the invasion will happen on the 9th. Attack ships within the Narvik area of operations, which is this bit here. Uh, I think actually we might have two, so that's, I take it that's any ship? Must be, that must be include Norwegian ships as well, which are currently neutral. Attack British ships entering Norway's territorial waters. So this is, we could potentially have a look up there as well, but we're just patrolling this estuary here at the moment. If we pop this open, uh, Germany's war machine is feeding on iron ore imported from neutral Sweden, 90% of which passes through Norwegian port of Narvik. Anticipating a British move on Norway, German High Command has made plans to secure the area for our use. The invasion of Denmark and Norway will begin on April the 9th. In the morning of particular importance are the ports and air bases which the Norwegian coast, which would allow us to operate far out. Sorry, would allow us to operate far out in over the North Atlantic. Far out and over the North Atlantic. Yeah, okay, fine. Attacks on any shipping in and out of these areas will hamper kind of defense any kind of defense okay the problem is when you scroll down it scrolls down more than one line so you tend to lose your reading place okay that's fine so I think we can attack anything in here the only sad thing is I have not spotted anything so far um, so that's quite good um, we are out of range of are there any Norwegian sh aircraft bases no, I don't see any. So we don't. We're not particularly worried about that. We can stay above water unless we see a uh, British naval ship. Um, yeah, we're going to continue our little search patrol and see if we find anything. I'll uh, I'll bring you back if we do. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's been a long time. We're now at the 30th of March. I have patrolled and patrolled and patrolled and patrolled. This area, I even did up here, I've done this about four times and we basically got fed up so I've come into this narrow section here and hopefully we can intercept uh, anything coming in. Now the first ship we've seen in days is this. It's a... Uh, well it looks to be a... Um, a Norwegian merchant. Yep, there he is. Norwegian flag flying. And... Well, he's yes, friendly sir. at the moment. Man the deck gun! But we're going to get some deck gun action going on. As I say, he's not going to fire back at the moment. And I'm not, not too worried if he does call in for reinforcements. Because we do need a little bit of action. There's very little happening on these... Uh, on these waters at the moment. Obviously we are nine days away from the invasion so no need to panic just yet. 
Um, I'm not sh exactly sure why they are going for four kilometers away. That's um, a little bit excessive. Uh, he is probably, where is he? Less than a thousand yards, isn't he? So we got armor piercing. Let's uh, put one. Oh, got one on the old uh, thing. Let's put one into the after the ship. There you go. Searchlights on. Trying to get the holes down near the propellers as well. Put him a hole at the front of the ship as well. That allows him to uh, put his motors on and push water into the, uh, the ship for us. There we go. This is messing up his propulsion. A good treat at the moment. Put one through the uh, side. Right, let's switch to a bit of high explosive action. Maybe a little bit higher. No, that managed to ignite the. Oh no, not quite. Might ignite the deck. Oh, skimmed it. Anybody looked up at that moment, they'd have lost their heads. Oh, and again. Go for a bit of a crew and deck command bridge um, hit. It's not really igniting at all. There we go. It's a bit wild that one. You see the holes at the back of the ship, which we punched in. Try and get her on fire at the front. Oh, come on! We're unlucky sometimes with the uh, the waves. There we go. She is well and truly alight now. Burning bright. She's slowing down as well. Boom! And she's gone. So that was a Norwegian ship we just sunk there. Um, oops, careful boys. There's a big wave there. We're okay though. That is our first bit of action for quite some time. Our fuel is a little bit low, but that's fine. Yes, uh, sir. Let's secure the deck gun. Let's actually have a quick chat with him because yes, his morale's dropped a little bit. That guy is so stiff. Yes, sir. That guy is so. Okay, it's not yes, really sir. improving his morale as, as much. He probably needs to end end the patrol and. Uh, and get home to see his family for a bit of short shore leave. That's probably what he needs. Uh, let's have a quick look. Oh, he had a radio contact. Uh, enemy task force. Okay, we can go and have a look at that in a second. Uh, so that was a Hog Island Type A freighter for 4,000 tons. Now, does that go on to our um, stats here? Yes, it does. Attack ships in the Narvik operations. So 4,000 4, tons. That is a good first start. There's no British shipping here at the moment. As I say, um, we are just patrolling this narrow little bit of water here, um, which is great. Uh, what, I, what I will do is we will just New come around point. here course and we'll face that way so we can get some nice right angle course shots into any ships. Minimum cool. Ahead. Well, we'll press on Prepare and wait till the next change. contact comes our way.
Welcome back everyone, we have another target. This time, it looks like it's flying... You can just about make out the British Ensign with a little white track... Oh, bit in the corner of the red flag. Um, she's coming our way. The Norwegian ship! Uh, it would appear this, this uh, waterway is a little bit shallow. And she she's not actually sinking to the bottom, so <laughs> she's just... The top half is just sitting above water, burning away. So that's a, quite a beacon for where we are. Um, but that's quite yes, amusing anyway. Man the, Man the deck, deck gun! gun. Uh, I'm going to use the deck gun on these these uh, ships, obviously, because um, potentially there's going to be some capital ships coming down here. So that's what we're going to save all our torpedoes for. Let's... Um, Get rid of that. Bring the gun over here. There she is. Uh, what do you reckon? She is about 1500, 2000 meters from us. Maybe a bit more. Oh, the waves have got a bit choppy. Boom, yeah, there you go. Nice strike on the front of the ship there. We seem to be getting just below the water line as well, which is nice. We'll wait for the rise on the waves. Whoops, that was a bit too much, that one. Definitely getting choppy. It definitely seems to be the best place just to sit here in the uh, in the. Okay. We might get a little bit closer actually. We're doing some good shots out here, but let's just hold fire for a second, and let's move in closer. Okay, here we are coming into the ship. She's she's basically turned and tried to run. But she's got nowhere to go whatsoever. Absolutely nowhere to go. Smoke coming off her. Uh, she's probably less than a thousand now. Stride in the propellers. Lovely. To the rear of the ship. Perfect. She's going nowhere as we get a big wave come over us. Let's get some high explosives. Set her on fire. Nope, let's try and shoot a little bit higher than that. Good, there we go, lovely. The front of the ship. She's trying to turn away from us. Not sure how that missed, but it did. More explosions, lovely. Let's put a couple of high explosives into the tail. Oops, didn't mean to be quite that low. Boom! Come on, baby. Right, she's sticking a bum in the air now, so... She's got to be almost done. No propulsion. Although she is moving slightly, but... Come on, you bugger. Can't be long now. Just sink. Save a little bit more ammo. I want to see. It's quite a big freighter, so hopefully this is going to be about 7,000 tons. Uh, and if it is that, then hopefully 
Um, we can... Uh, okay. <laughs> that happened. She jumped, and then she died. That's unusual. Not seen that before. But, um, okay. That's fine. Boom, kaboom, kabloom. Good. Oh, she's still exploding. The other joyous thing, that's probably really shallow water over there as well, so I doubt she'll sink. So I'll have these smoking beacons. Where's the other one? The other one's over there, look. Smoke's kind of going in the same direction as kind of the cloud. Not really, but better than it has been. Right, let's put the gun away. Well done, boys. Another kill. And that was a British kill, so that will yes, add to the other. Secure the dagger. That should add to the other um, tally. So if we have a quick look at what that was. Here we are. It was another Hog Islander for... Is that right? Hog Islander for... Yeah, another Hog Islander for 4,000 tons. Uh, it's not great. Uh, but we can kind of get a feel for how much British shipping we need to sh sink. Um, oh, so that's added it to the attack ships with the Narvik area of operations. Attack British ships entering Norway's territorial waters. So where's the territorial waters start then? It's a two-parter, and I'm not sure. Or when it says, no, attack British ships entering Norway's territorial water. So that might be all the way over here then, maybe. Or it probably sort of starts around here, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, well, we're going to concentrate in this area, see if we can finish this one off first. And then we'll figure out where else we need to go. Right. So, let's um, plan our little move again and so we are good to go so yep we'll move on and uh, see what other ships come sailing down this way welcome back guys as you can see we've got a runner this one is trying to run down the uh, Basically, did a little 360 and started to turn away. But um, behind us, you can still see the smoking wrecks of the. Oh, you can only see the smoking wreck of the British um, ship now. We are in shallow waters, Captain. Uh, the Norwegian one has finally gone out. The flames, anyway. Uh, so she is down. Uh, what we can start to do is really Minimum tail off. Speed ahead. Yes, sir. Deck gun. Never deck gun. It is a bit choppy, but we have been blatting it. Hopefully when we slow down, the uh, the seas doesn't look that rough. It's a little bit um, precarious at the moment. Just hold on to the uh, the wires until we slow down a little bit, guys. Uh, and this guy, we... Um... Whoa. Big wave. Okay. Stop your ship. Stop your ship. We're a bit close to, um... Let's switch to, uh, high explosives, get her on fire. Missed, somehow. There you go, she's light. Okay, a couple more into the... Uh... There we go, boom. There goes your life raft. Sweet. Well, you can probably... There you go. Nope, still spinning around. You can probably swim to the shore, although it's... Absolutely freezing. That almost hit the shore, that shot. That was so bad.
Again, this is only a small light ship. There's not going to be much in the way of uh, tonnage on this this baby, but um. All right, let's switch to a few more armor piercing. See if we get a few holes on here. We're a bit close now. Wait till the ship bobs up. Yes, we're too close. Uh, let's see if we can't take the bridge out. Bit more. That's in the bridge. Although, you know, we probably should have had high explosives. Let's use some high explosive rounds into this. She's gone. Good as me. Careful, guys. Wow. All stop. Good shooting, boys. Good shooting. That we is a dead ship. Waters, yep, yep. I know. This is all shallow around here. Fortunately, it's beautiful landscape. Look at it. It's absolutely glorious. Lovely snowy pine forests. Look at the damage to that ship. Well, that's war. Quick look at what she was. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, it was an S... No, it's not. It's an N3SA1 small merchant for 1,852 tons. Um, good stuff. We are almost nearing the completion. Well, we're over halfway for this uh, attack ships within the Narvik area of operations. And then once we complete that up, we may come down here and see if we can't start topping this bar up. Because um, there's not much. We are starting to see a little bit of action here. Still saving our torpedoes for any anything big and juicy. Uh, do you see anything deep yet? No, it all looks a little bit quiet. Right. Let's press on and see if we can uh, find another target. Yes. Yes. Hi guys, welcome back. In our li own little blockade of this bit of water, we have two more Norwegian ships heading our way. Uh, nothing behind them in the form of any military ships, so we've got two more ships daring to uh, run our blockade. So, we will give them the old what for. Come on guys. Spin this gun round. Um, do we want to get the front ship first or the rear ship first? I'm just thinking, if we get the rear ship first, um, it can't... No, we'll get the front ship first. I was just thinking that if we get the rear one first, we can uh, stop it um, running away. Anyway, let's just wait for him to rise and... There we go, get him a nice shot underneath the waterline there. Get him a couple at the, the rear as well. He's just waking up to the fact that we're not friendly. He's going to be pumping the old um, throttles up now. Stoke the boiler. Let's get out of here, he's saying. Whoa, let's try and get the boiler, in fact. Bit of high explosive action, I think, to set some fires going. Oops, maybe a little bit higher. Get 
into the deck. Whoa, freak wave. Freak wave coming over. It's quite nice, quite and steady to be honest with you. The water today has been quite nice. She's nicely ablaze. Right, let's switch to some. Is she gone? Yep, yeah, she's gone. Sister ship here. Some uh, holes down the sides. Nice waterline shot there. Slight moment of drowning, but we seem to be okay. Now, these guys are just so polite. You know, if I was the captain of that ship and I saw a submarine blocking my way like this with a deck gun, you know, there's not much. You're not going to be able to get out of range of her fire quickly. So what you'd do, you'd go full steam ahead, wouldn't you, and try and ram the damn thing. Because you've got a lot more weight and strength in that ship than uh, this little U-boat. Okay, she's going to be close now. Let's switch to high explosives. Couple into the bridge. Another moment of alarm as we drown slightly. Yeah, she's she's away. That one is burning. Boom! And there goes the uh, the rear mast, and she's gone. Lovely. Good shooting, guys. Two more to add. Hopefully, that might finish off that first task uh, tonnage bar. Which would be delightful. Uh, it's nice to see the uh, smoke going in the same direction. There are no clouds, so we can't tell if that's uh, accurate, but that looks good. Uh, quick look at these two. That is a Rongal Old Split for 2,431, and a Rongal Old Split for 2,436 tons. Lovely. She's getting quite the little kill alley here, isn't it? Uh, where is... Here it is. Boom. Yes, we have almost finished that top bar. So we need one more ship to finish that off. And then we're going to have to go and attack the British waters. Sorry, attack the British ships entering Norwegian waters. So this is going to be attacking shipping around here, I'm guessing. We're going, we're going to go down there anyway. And um, I'm hoping if we finish this tonnage bar, this action zone will move to allow us uh, to where we need to go next which I am guessing is going to be round here, because they're going to be the ports of Bergen, Oslo, uh, Stavanger, and Kristiansand. So we're going to hang around here, and hopefully one more kill comes our way. Hi everyone, welcome back. We have two more targets in sight. Two little Norwegian ships, uh, which we hopefully will finish off very soon. Right, we're going to get down to the deck gun, finish these off, and then hopefully this will complete the first tonnage bar. Right, here they are. They're about 1500 uh, meters, so if we go for about there. Right of the waterline, lovely. Probably one of these ships will be enough to um, take us over the tonnage, but as they're both here, it'd be rude not to take both of them out. Oh, is he coming for me? Oh, we might have found a captain with a bit of a, a 
aggressive streak. Boom. He's closing in. He's turning away. It's okay. He's not going to come to ram us. That was my first impression. I thought, ooh, here we go. Whoa, hello! This one is a little bit spicy. It's armed! Okay. They are fighting back. Right, let's have some high explosives on this then. I think once we... um. Well, if we can manage to get all this, get back to base after this round, then I think we're going to go back for a full end of patrol refit, get it repaired, and everything. Keen just to take this one out now. Now it's got. Uh, it's just anti aircraft guns, isn't it? Light machine guns, which is not too much, really. There she's gone. Now, where's this other one? Increase the range a little bit. Boom, she's alight. Now, she's probably got some... Whoa, she's probably got some MG fire on there as well. Quick shelling her with a few... Uh, high explosives just to get her nice and burning right let's switch over to armor piercing nice right at the water level We'll just need to take stock once we've uh, finished this one off to see what damage we may have inflicted. Maybe a couple of personnel injuries. Hopefully not. Morale isn't at its highest at the moment anyway because they just need some shore leave. He's coming for me again. He's obviously got some small guns on here. switch to high explosives then I can't really get the uh, good shots at this angle so high explosives into the uh... whoa hold on boys expect the hail of small arms fire in any minute boom hopefully that may have cleared the decks There, she's gone too. Excellent. Good shooting, guys. Good shooting. Two more kills. Right, you can stand down from gum at the moment. Let's uh, get DTR to uh, secure the deck gun so yes, those guys man. can stand down. They've been doing a lot of work. Oh, his morale has shot up since we've been secure killing so much. Gun. Good. Right, let's have a quick look at what they were. Uh, another UKL small passenger type for 1,700 tonnes. And the same for 1,700 tons. Ooh, was that enough to tip us over the bar? Let's have a quick look. Oh, maybe not. No, I don't think it quite was. Oh, but what do I spy with my little eye? Another little Norwegian ship over there. Boom, we are going to, before we end, chase her down and try and... Um, Half speed ahead. And to, Oh, there's two of them. Ooh, how lovely. Right, let's um, stay this side of those two wrecks. We'll try and close these two ships down and uh, see if we can't finish those off straight away. Let's do a quick check. Hull integrity is down to 94%, so we did take a few hits. Fuel is down to 39%, which is the most worrying thing. Everything else is okay. There's no damage. Oh, uh, periscope heads took a bit of a 
a scratch, but um, nothing to worry about. Full Randall torpedoes. Crew hopefully are okay. There's no reason he would be injured. Did you get injured? No, you did not. Fantastic. And no one else really was above on the officer's side was above board. Right. We're going to chase these down and hopefully finish them off in a few seconds. Right, we are ahead of uh, the second one, and we've caught the first one up as well. Let's have a quick look at that one, see what that is. That is quite a juicy target right there. This one is just um, the usual we've been seeing. No arms fire on that one, so nothing to worry about. This one looks a little bit nicer. So DTA, whoa, okay, let's just slow down a bit. Yes, we, we have been... Man the deck on. We have been going around almost at full chat, so uh, the uh, we are pushing our way through the waves a little bit. We just need to calm down, and as we slow down, the uh, the ship should uh, stabilize as well. Right. Hello, my beauty. Whoops. We are oh well within a uh, a kilometer of that. So let's just whoop, all the way to the end. Point blank range, fire into the, the rear. Put loads of holes, put one in the couple in the front. We've got thirty eight. Oh, these are high explosives. Oh, my goodness. What a waste. Let's um, start trying to get this deck alight then. Sorry, I thought I had the armor piercing loaded. Oh, there go her lifeboats. Not one to ignite. So let's put some armor piercing into her then. We're obviously, uh... there we go. That's a little bit better. Straight into the engine bays. Down under the boiler rooms. Put some holes in the front. Lovely. Things are firing off nicely. Whoa, big wave again. And we've nicely saved all our torpedoes for hopefully taking out the British ships that are coming into the Norwegian water. Come on! I know there's going to be some frustrated people who said, you haven't used torpedoes in this. But I know, and that's the whole point. We are saving them. We are saving them, my friends. Right, she is nicely alight now. Right, we're going to let her burn for a little bit. As we, where's our little friend over here? Right, point blank range. Switch to armor piercing. Got 14 shots left. See if we can't encourage her to sink as well. And nicely getting the uh, shots below the waterline. Can't get the boiler. Give you the bridge. Yeah, we're getting a little bit too close for the uh, the waterline shot. So let's switch to got four. Only four shots left. Oh my goodness, we are getting through these. Oh, 
Whoops. Boom. She's sunk. Good. We got this one over here now. She's got. Oh, she's hold. She's. Let's get. Let's get a high explosive through that shell. That shell hole we put with the. We punched with the armor piercing. Shall we? Bit of a trick shot. Oh, not quite. Oh, that'd have gone straight in. Oh, you wouldn't see it though. All bit high. There we go, straight through. Boom! Trick shot. We got nine shots left. Big wave. Hold on, everyone. shallow waters captain come on finish we need to get going now uh, we got four we might as well we've only got four rounds left let's just finish these up if she doesn't sink the other ship should be enough to uh, hopefully tip the tonnage bar got one more left no, okay, switching to four armor piercing. Whoops. Far too high. Come on, baby, please just sink. Not the only appointment we have. We're quite busy people. We're out. Okay, we can switch to some of these. Oh, what are they call starlight shells or something. These are basically. These are not really shells. These are um, like flares to mark we a target. Or... Waters, Captain. Yeah, I know. Just trying to encourage her to die. I'm not leaving you until you die. You are burning so brightly. Come on, let's quit that. She's got to be going soon. If not, we are just going to... It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time if I can get up these steps. Right. Okay, that has been quite some action today. Yes, sir. Let's secure the deck gun, please. Secure the deck gun. Good job, guys. Good job. Right. Well, she slowly stinks. Let's see what the other ship was. Ah, oh, great. This thing is the buggiest piece of crap in the world, this captain's log. Uh, oh, wow, look at that date. That's quite amazing. Um, but that was a Rongel small split for 2,435 tonnes. So thank you for your tonnage. As she goes down. Now that should take us over. Let's have a quick look. Fingers crossed. Yeah... Okay, that I think we've done that now. Um, it's not showing any more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start plotting our way back to do the territorial waters. New waypoint, course three, four, nine. The reason I'm doing quite a wide turn like that is so I don't run into the uh, the damaged ship which is currently trawling along. Uh, so we're going to come on. We're going to come out here. One, five, seven. And, oh look, what do we have here? It's a, it's a task force. As well as being well armed, warships designed to withstand damage are usually faster and more maneuverable. Good! I reckon this is what we need around the, uh, the bases. So we're going to pull out and um, have a look over here to see if we can't intercept some, uh, uh, some British ships. Right! 
So I'll leave it there, guys. A very productive... Very productive mission this time. And... Look at the damage on this ship. Why aren't you sinking? A couple of massive holes at the rear. Yeah, she's she's doomed. The propulsion is almost out. There's unstoppable fires going. Look, you can see the Yeah, she's she's done for. She's done for. Cool. Right, we're going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you're continuing to enjoy this Silent Hunter playthrough with the crew of U-46. As I say, I will go and patrol the approach waters now, and hopefully we can get some British uh, ships coming into the Norwegian waters. So, I will see you next time.